I'm G Ann, and I'm back here at Philly Live Pod August installment at the Prince Theater, and I'm sitting here with a Jersey, and this is bound to be a very interesting interview. How are you doing tonight? I'm good, sweetheart. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. So explain to me, Jersey, is that because you're from Jersey? I'm actually from Atlantic City, New Jersey. I was on a mysterious trip, and I met somebody, and they started calling me Little Jersey. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not a big man. I'm young and, you know, sexy, but... That's how the name came about, and I am from Atlantic City, but I live in Philly, so I rep the 215, 609, all day. So let's talk about your performance, okay? So I'm sitting there in the audience, and I, you know, I know you're from outside of that, so you know, and you get on that stage, and you killed it. Oh. I mean, you get up there, and that energy you have outside of it, because you're a wild, crazy guy, you take it to the stage. I had no idea. Talk about your stage presence, your performance. That's all I have. It's a lot of good drummers out here, especially in Philly. Yeah pack with some of the world's greatest drummers. You gotta do what you gotta do to set yourself apart. And I know, you know, I'm not the best technician, but I think I am one of the best performers. I know what I'm good at and I know where my niche is, so I stay right in that vein. As a performer, I always want the people to say, yo, I don't know who that drummer was, but he was up there going ham. You know what I mean? Even if they don't know what I was playing, I just want them to say his hands was going up, he was jumping up, and I like to put on a show, because I feel like as Dave Watson is the artist that I'm playing for, mm -hmm. but he also understands that I'm an artist also. Right. So we go in and out of songs sometimes, you know, he may give me a little spot, or just knowing the songs, I know where my little spots are to show off, or, you know, do my thing, and he knows being that he's a drummer, so he can feel what a drummer's gonna do, right. and he knows how to sing around it. Right. Uh, I do a lot of drumming with DJs. Mm -hmm. So when it's a DJ, you gotta realize sometimes in these clubs, the DJ may be way up there, and I'll be down here with the people. They don't wanna just see a person sitting there playing the beat. Like, they wanna see you going ham. So, more so, I would say a lot of my style came from playing with a DJ, mm -hmm. which is most likely. You'll see me with DJ Active every now and then. I play with a few other DJs, but I usually rock out with DJ Active. Shout out to DJ Active. So you play for an R&B soul artist like Dave Watson, and you play with DJs. So, you know, how do you make that transition from going from R&B to hip-hop? I mean, is that different? For, you know, is that difficult for a drummer, or is it just kind of all the same? I don't think the music part is difficult. As a musician, you can play. You should be able to pretty much, even if you can't authentically play jazz, I should be able to be able to sit down and fake it. You know, as they say, fake it till you make it. So I feel like I should be able to play every genre that there is. Even if I'm not doing it on 100%, I should be able to give them 75%. Whether it's salsa, rock, pop, Latin, I want to play it all. Okay, so where are you most comfortable? Uh, I would say my niche is pretty much R&B. Okay. But at the end of the day, I am a percussionist and I've pretty much made my name off of being a percussionist, but I play drums. So it just so happened that you caught me playing drums. Okay. Jersey name is more known as a percussionist. Okay. So what's next for Jersey? Sex, love, and drums. I'm about to work on my own drumentary. Mm. Uh, what's a drumentary? A documentary of the life of Jersey, going in and out of these clubs, the wild stuff, like the behind the scenes footage, the... Bad. The sex, the love, and the drums. I'm going to do some interviews with some women. In a nutshell, that's what Sex, Love, and Drums is. Okay, that's going to be very interesting. Well, I want to say thank you to you for thank taking you. this time out, interrupting your sex, love, and your drum life to have this interview with us. And I'm sure we'll see a lot more from you in the very so. near future.